Do you want a deeper back turn? Here are four exercises to help you turn your shoulders farther in the backswing. Okay, we're going to learn how to get a deeper turn. And by that, I mean how to turn your shoulders farther in the back turn. I want you to take just a standard PVC pipe. Take your golf stance straight up. And I want you to keep your feet flat on the ground. Now just put this pipe across your chest and hold it tight. And I want you to rotate backwards and look back and then look forward. The purpose of this drill is to learn how to rotate your shoulders without using your legs. I want you to keep your feet flat. So it's turn back, look backwards, and then look forwards. Now, when you look forward, I don't want you to turn the pipe. I want you to keep the pipe where it's at. Let's turn backwards as far as you can. Look back and then look forward. Now, when you do this drill, I want you to have a landmark directly in front of you. I've got the camera directly in front of me. You can have anything else, a tree, what have you. But it just needs to be directly in front of you and you need to stand 90 degrees to it. Again, keep your feet flat on the ground. Turn your shoulders back. Look backwards. And then look forward. Now when you look forward, notice your head doesn't come all the way back. Part of the problem that people have that prevent them from looking backwards is they think they have to keep, quote, their eye on the ball. They have which they interpret as meaning I have to keep my head directly straight forward all the time. If you look at pros, you'll see that they turn their head when they go in their backswing. They mostly are looking out of this lead eye at the ball. You need to get used to doing that. So just turn backwards, look back, and then look forward. Now you notice, no matter how hard you try, you can't turn your head and put it at 90 degrees on your shoulder. You just can't do it. So if you're going to get a 90 degree shoulder turn, you're going to have to let your head rotate a little bit away. That's what we're learning here. We're also learning how to get that deep turn. You're learning you can do it. Again, keep your feet flat. This is not a leg movement. Just rotate back, look backwards as far as you can, and then look forward. Notice where that pipe's pointing. If you've made a deep turn, it'll be turning even farther than 90 degrees. Turn backwards, look back. Turn, use your shoulders to turn as far as you can and look forward. Now, this is not a leg move. It's not a lower body move. You're turning your shoulders and you're letting your shoulders kind of rotate the rest of your body around. Your shoulders are driving this. Your shoulders in your chest, not your legs. So let's just rotate back, look backwards, and look forward. That's drill number one in this exercise series. This is the second exercise in the deep turn. We're going to take the previous exercise and modify it. I want you to do like you did before. Turn your shoulders back. Look backwards as far as you can. Look forward, hold the position, and then bend at the waist forward and tap the ground with the pipe. That's going to be your top of the back swing position. Again, it's turn backwards, look backwards. It's important you look backwards. You don't want to get your head locked. Look forward and bend forward at the waist. Now, this is not a shoulder bent tilt. You're not doing this. Okay? You're not doing this. You're bending forward at the hips. Okay, you're getting up there and you're bending your hips forward. Let's try it sideways so you get a bit look of it 
the hips turning. Turn, look backwards, look forward, and bend forward at the hips. Now that is your top of the backswing position. You've come by it naturally. You haven't had to think about it. You're just letting your body build it. It's, I want you to do this exercise and the previous one a hundred times so you get used to that feeling of what it feels like to stand in that position. Again, this exercise. Rotate backwards, look all the way to the back, look forward, and bend forward at the hips and tap the ground with that pipe. You don't tilt your shoulders, you tilt your hips. Turn all the way to the back, look forward, and bend forward at the hips. All right, from this side, and all the way around, look forward, bend forward at the hips. Do that exercise a hundred times. That's why you got a clicker to drill it in. Okay, we're going to modify this once again. So we're taking it step by step. You're kind of learning this backwards. What I want you to do, do the previous drill or the previous two drills that are now built together. Rotate backwards, look back, look forward, tilt at the hips, and then tilt, come back, and then come back to where it was. Now you're learning how to do the back turn. You've kind of come at it backwards, but you should be able to do it. Turn backwards, look backwards, look forward, come down, make note of where the tip hits. Make note of where the tip hits. Make note of your eyes. Are they on the ball? Can you see the ball? You should be able to, but if you close your eyes, you won't see them as well. And then just rotate back your beginning position and then rotate it back so that pipe is back where it was. That's why you take note of where the pipe hit. You're going to move it off to where you're square and move it right back. That moving back motion is just your backswing. Back. Look backwards, look forwards, bend at the hips, rotate back, and then rotate forward again into your backswing. It's important you do this a hundred times at least. If you do a hundred times, it'll really drill it in. And then when you come to make it with a club, you'll be able to make that little movement. For learning that final movement, that's the movement you're trying to push at. Notice you're not using your arms to turn or get back. It's just a body turn. And again, you keep your feet flat. Look backwards. Look forward. Come down. Notice the pipe. Notice the ball. Make sure you can see it. Let's turn back. And then turn back again. When you get in this bottom position, this position here, remember that the look your eyes have on the ball. Notice it's different than here. Notice my head is turned. I'm looking at the ball mostly with my lead eye. That you can try closing your trail eye if you want, but you need to learn kind of focus on the ball with your lead eye, not your, not your trail eye, or not both eyes. It's your lead eye. It's so one you need to focus on. If you do that, it'll allow you to turn your head a little bit, get a steeper turn. And turn, look backwards, look forward, tilt down, look at where the pipe is and look at the ball. Come back. 
You go back, put the pipe in that same position. You get the pipe in the same position, you know you're making that deep turn. Let's try it from the side. I don't have a wall here, but I'll just pretend that I did. Back, all the way back, look forward, come down, look at where the ball would be. Square. Then make your back turn and put that pipe where it was. Look at the ball. Get used to that position. What we're learning here is how to get a steeper back turn and look at the ball. But you're going to have to look at the ball out of your lead eye. I've got a saying, keep your eye off the ball. You keep your eye on the ball. You won't be able to turn your head. You won't be able to get a steep back turn. Okay, we finished with the pipe now. You should be good at turning. We're going to do it with a club. We're just going to do your back turn. Just line up to the ball like you would normally. Take a regular golf stance. And just turn your shoulders back just like you did with the pipe. Let your head rotate too. Now one thing you'll notice that will help you with this is with your eyes. Take my glasses off for a minute. When you get up there to the top, I want you to recognize you're looking out of your left eye or your lead eye. So take your right eye and close it at the top. Take turns closing them. Your right eye, and close your left eye. Your right eye, your left eye. Now if you do that at a dress, your head is straight down. You won't see any difference in the ball. But if you do it at the top of your backswing, you'll see you can see the ball with your lead eye. But there's a very good chance that with your trail eye, your right eye, all you'll see is your nose because your head has turned and blocked it. So you need to learn this of looking through your lead eye. That's really the key of getting the deep back turn. Is learning to let your head turn so you're looking through your lead eye. So practice when you get up there of getting the feeling of looking through your lead eye. So on this drill, I want you to make the turn, come to the top, and then clo alternately close your eyes. Do that at the stance as well. Standing down or at your stance. Cl alternate closing and opening each eye. Notice it really doesn't make any difference in the ball. Now when you get to the on your turn at the top, now alternate. And you'll see the difference. You'll see that your nose is actually may even be blocking your right eye if you get a really deep turn. The important thing is you can see through your lead eye. Now, if you get to the top and it just looks just like where you were standing at a dress, you have not turned your head. You need to go back and do those drills where you look backwards, hold it, and then look forward. Your head needs to rotate with your shoulders. It doesn't rotate as much, but it's got to rotate because you can't take your head and turn it 90 degrees. And so say, you know, maybe 70 is the max I can get this turn. But I can't get those extra 20 degrees on there. I mean, my neck just doesn't work like that. So practice here, the drill. Come to address. Alternate closing and opening your eyes, and then take your back swing or turn just like you did with the pipe in the drill. And now alternate your eyes. <laughs> and you'll see the difference. Learn to turn your shoulders and let your head turn. Let your sight kind of become lead eye dominant and you'll get a deeper back turn. These four drills will help you get a deeper back turn.